Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Gaming. This is 7 Days to Die, Story Mode. Good morning. Got a busy day today. We gotta build us a base. And that base is to handle the zombies that Duke is gonna try to send after us in a few days. Running around, I spotted a place. I think will work real well. This pawn shop just down the road, not too far from base. And it seems to be Madison, really rugged stuff. We're gonna head that way. And we're gonna take the day and just, you know, get it ready. Get it defensible. And ride there in style on the new bike. There we go. Let's cruise. Here's the location I've picked out. First things first, we gotta clear it. Oh, they even got a vending machine out front. How very handy. Start with the outside. Now pretty much we gotta take everything on the outside they can use to uh, jump or climb up. This looks okay. Yeah, these awnings gotta go. Sounds like we woke him up. That is a cop. Well, it was. Alright, we'll just leave the door open so they can exit at their own free will. We're going to continue to clean up the outside. Poke. Oh. Miss me. Start clearing everything out. We could use some of these materials to fortify it as we go. Now, anything on the walls we have to take out. I want anything they can use to get up. Everything on the interior, though, we can pretty much leave alone. Like the walls, the doors. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to take these ceiling tiles down. There's a lot of them. Probably should. What else is up here? Come on in. That it? Let's get the main loot. Start clearing everything out. Alright, that's a lot of work done in a little bit of time. Got the most of the guts cleared out. I think what we'll do is we will kind of just go back to base tonight, craft a bunch of like uh, platforms or bars or something. So we can, I don't know, sit about this high. Some I'm scurry. We'll build pathways back and forth and we'll leave this over here open. And then I've still got to get a big chunk of these whiteboards replaced over top of the uh, the few sections here that we left. There's a couple more things to clear out the side and I think we'll be ready to go. It's getting late. Let's we'll head back to base. Make some bars and such. We'll do some crafting, some cooking tonight. Tomorrow, we search for the Duke again. And if we don't find him tomorrow... We'll have one more day to get the base ready for his horde. Alright, morning at day 13. We got some important stuff to do today. We're gonna head south until we find the Duke. Now, Sally, I need you to guard the place. Grab some money, stuff to sell, food and water. We gotta find a White River settler we can pay to do some mining for us to save some time. Alright, where to start? Let's head south. Let's see what we can find.
have we here? Like the desert. Oh, look, a bandit. Interesting, interesting. Some plant life around here. Oh, so this is how we make aloe cream. Wait, is that a White River settler? It is, Sophia. How can I help you? How about we make another deal? What is your offer? Looking for six thousand iron, six thousand brass, six thousand lead, and six thousand wood. How much to collect those for me? Five hundred dukes per ore. So two thousand in total. Two thousand dukes, huh? There you go. Meet me back here before sundown, or I keep the dukes and you get nothing. All right, I'll be back at the end of the day. Sweet. All right, let's harvest some cars to get some more gas. Let's find out what this uh, desert has to offer. Seems to be a lot of bandits out here. What is this? Waterfall. Cool. I see you. That bag, thank you. Hop on the bike and get out of here. Well, I've come upon the tallest peak I could find in the, close to me, except for maybe those over here. I see something off in the distance I want to check out. It's a lot like Crater Compound. I didn't know what he was going to do there for a second. There it is. I got a white river flag. It is a traitor. And it though. Didn't surprise her. Never even saw us. A pretty rock. What is that? Oh, it's oil shale. Nailed it. Ooh, gas. I need gas. And just getting down here with the motorcycle, it was, uh, used quite a bit of gas, actually. And we still need a beaker to make that chem station. Um. Let's head down that way. I'd like to get on top of a mountain to see if I can, you know, see any large landmarks or something. Maybe it looks like fortified, like the Duke would be hiding it or something. Shells look pretty bare, dude. Hello, Bob. What you got? We do need the painting book. Might as well use the wasteland treasures, too. Alright, let's head down to that peak. A rattlesnake. I poke him with a stick. Let's cruise. And gunfire. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, I see a bag. Uh, I ain't about to leave my bike out here. Go get the bike and go get that bag. Don't mind if I do. Mr. Bruce. Alright, back to the mission. Alright, finally made it to the top. This giant peak. Oh, baby. Pretty 
pretty far out the way. Or a canyon. In a city. We may have to let that airdrop go. Alright, let's check out the city. Very carefully. Got a bandit on me. Alright. There's two of them right there. And a third one who was shooting at me. Do this. Just gotta find the third one. Uh, maybe she cut right and she was the second one I saw. Alright, let's keep moving. I wanna head to that city. More bandits, huh? Alright, we cross the river. Let's keep moving. It looks like a city. Every time I take a step in this place, it's a bandit. I'm going to check out that big, tall skyscraper. I want to see how I can make this jump here. Oh, crap. Well, I've broken my leg good. I don't have the duct tape to fix it. And that was a stupid mistake. Especially with how many bandits I keep seeing. I can't be playing around. Actually, so we're moving into a little bit of a better clip. Not stray off the motorcycle this time and stay on the, the safe path. I just knocked a bird out. <laughs> Got another one. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking the Duke lives around here. There's just way too many bandits around here for him not to be in this area. I mean, maybe not, like, the immediate vicinity. Of course, uh, if I was him, I would definitely take that giant skyscraper over. So we're going to go check it out. But there is just a ton of bandits in here. Another one. Hit him. Run! Get on the bike! Get out of here! Alright, we gotta find a safe place and heal a little bit. Head up into the hills. Little zombies down there. Crap, he's following me. Get a lay of the land. Besides just being a insane amount of bandits. Definitely want to check out that. I gotta remember we gotta meet that White River settler before dark. We're as healed as we're gonna be. Let's head down. Let's do a loop around the tower and see what we find. 
Oh, one of those really fast dudes, that's bad. Like anything crazy, crazy. Well, there's at least one bandit inside. Okay, that place is crawling with them. Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's where he is. Man, there was like 15 of them in there. Plus guards on the outside. Get that bag, and uh, let's meet the White River settler we hired so we can get our, our supplies and get out of here. I'm fairly certain we found the town where the Duke is hiding. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come back heavily armored. Lots of weapons, maybe with a couple of White River settlers in tow, and just lay waste to the tower. Now, in order to do all that, uh, we're going to need at least a couple more days to prepare better weapons such. So it's looking like we may have to deal with one more of his hordes. Let's meet up with our contact and get our stuff. Alright, we've made it to the rally point. We just have to wait for the settler to trip with our uh, materials. I think that's her. Make our way. Sophie, got my goods. As a greet. Good doing business with you. My pleasure. Stay safe. I always do. There's bandits everywhere. Always seems to be that way in the desert. Alright, we got all the materials we need, we just gotta make it back to base. But the plan tonight is to craft as much as we can. Get food ready. We're gonna need a lot of ammo to take on that tower. Hopefully we find the Duke at the top. So we may just hedge our bets, hide in the base for that board from the Duke, deal with him the day after when his forces are weak. Luckily that White River Settler came through for us and we have several stacks of 6,000 now found Grandpa's learning elixir, so we're going to perform a little magic trick. But this requires knowing Art of Mining 5. This is how we're going to level up really fast. Take the learning elixir. Got four minutes to complete. Craft. As many stacks as you can. Get tons of XP. Open it. Craft it. Open. Craft. And just complete the cycle as fast as possible in as much time as you can. And our boost is up, so we'll let these remaining four level us out. Put them in storage. See if we can get one more level out of it. We might. Oh. There it is. Eight levels in about four and a half minutes. Not too shabby. Been a busy day. Leveled up quite a bit. We have some skill points to spend tomorrow. Grab some food. Sit next to the fire. All tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. This has been 7 Days to Die Story Mode. I hope you've enjoyed the story so far. If you have, please leave a like. Feel free to comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until next time, laters.